Hello there, so this will be the first video that I've had up, I think, post pandemic. Um, I will already have had up my vlog of Estonia and I haven't really addressed the pandemic here online. I know if you've came onto this video thinking this is supposed to be a uh, full face of uh, you do you, just give me a minute. Um, the reason I thought I'd better address it than now is because this video is going to be a bit of light-hearted relief. I have addressed this situation quite thoroughly over on Instagram and on IGTV in two videos giving you a roundup of what someone with chronic illness and who is also a nurse opinions are and thoughts and feelings and views are on this and how to try and tackle it as a worldwide group. Um, so I just wanted to say that at the start of this video, I didn't want anybody to think that I just overlooked it. I think it's quite important because I have made it known on this channel that I am a nurse. So I'm not just like, oh, let's keep making pretty makeup and hair videos. Um, that's not the situation. I'm very aware. I am night shift for the next four nights and I am going to be in the thick of it. Um, so if you are interested in what my thoughts, feelings are, maybe you just want some reassurance that somebody's feeling the same way, then please do go follow me over on Instagram. I will put my username on Instagram here. Um, I can't link things, as I've said before, I'm not that big a YouTuber. So I will put my username down below. You can look me up on it. I have IGT videos up regarding the current situation in the world at the moment. Um, and if you are interested in that, then please, please go and check it out. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a bit of lighthearted relief for anybody who's thinking, I've had enough of corona, I don't want to hear about it anymore, please, I'm so anxious, I just want something a bit lighthearted to watch. I just want to see some makeup, I just want to see some normality. So if that is what you are looking for, then please keep watching. So I'd arranged to do this video way before I'd even went away on my trip. Uh, I'd seen that Superdrug some time ago had released uh, well, from collection. Collection aren't just in Superdrug, are they? They're both boots on Superdrug, possibly. Yeah, I think they are. Collection had released a collection within collection um, called You Do You. Now, You Do You was very kind of, anybody should be allowed to wear makeup. Let's all like not have borders. Let's not all have barriers. Let's just wear makeup because it's fun and we should be allowed to, to do what we want. But also it was very reminiscent of Glossy. They almost kind of pinched that easy, just got out of bed, your skin but better looking makeup situation, which I found was quite, I don't know, I just found it was funny because I don't think Glossy necessarily stick to the ethos of everybody should wear makeup. I'm sure that is what they believe, but I don't think that's one of the things they necessarily market. I think they just market that, you know, to have good skin, to have minimal makeup is, is what they go for. Whereas I think that the collection one was definitely more targeted towards, you know, there was, there was male models in the press for it and all that kind of stuff, which is wonderful. So they were really edging towards more of a, do you know what? You do you, that's why they called it that. So it was a, quite a small collection. Um, there was a couple of lip oils, a couple of cheek and eye tints, which I found quite interesting, because normally you get a cheek and a lip tint, but very rarely do you see cheek and eye tints. Um, there was also a stick, a big BAM stick, like one of these highlighter sticks that Glossier have done. The packaging is quite reminiscent of Glossier. Uh, I think they had a spray as well, like a hyaluronic uh, spray set spray type thing. So I've picked up everything that I could and I thought I would do a little like full face of uh, this collection. So I've got bare face today. I do have on a tinted moisturiser just because I thought that's normally what I would do and there wasn't one in the collection. So I've done that and I have put on a little bit of concealer as well. They also didn't supply a mascara. So I have however because I picked some stuff up in Superdrug, got a free mascara and this is from Gosh, so I will use their mascara instead. But let's crack on to the actual collection. Uh, so, we'll start off with these cheek and eye tints. Now I will do cutaways so you can actually see swatches of these as well, but I have not yet actually tried these. Oh, so it's like little squeezy, oh no. Oh, they might need a bit of a shake because they've got that kind of oil, you know like, because they've been sitting. They've got that oil, they've separated. 
So I'll just give them a wee a squeeze and a shake. Um, the colours I got, I believe there was only two colours. And I got Flush, which is the pink one, and Bare, which is the nude one. Um, these are for your cheeks and your eyes. Now, I did think, will I do one face with this side and one face with this side? Um, but I think that would be a bit silly because I think it'd be better, like, let's put the pink one on my cheeks, let's put the nude one on my eyes. Because that would be more inclined to, to what I would do if I was using them both in that manner. But also, this one, you know, you could use a blush as well. I just want to keep that. I don't know how many people are going to put pink on their eyes. Lots of people will. I used to when I was younger. But as an everyday, maybe for spring, maybe for spring, this will actually look really pretty on the eyes. So what I'm going to do is put this on my eyes, this on my cheeks. The other two products that I picked up um, were both lip oils, a pink and like this poppy red colour. And the pink is called blush and the poppy red colour is called smooch. Again, I will put cutaways of both of these so you can see what they're like on natural skin. The pink one, it's a really kind of milky, like pink, and the red is a really, really, like bright red. But when I pulled it out of the packet, it does look like it, I mean, it looks bright there, but it looks like it's gonna be, I'll just swatch this one quickly on my hand, quite a sheer, that's the red one you can see there. It is very sheer, and it does have like a nice little shine to it because it's an oil, but whether it's sticky or not is another matter. I will try it on my lips in a minute. Oh, it smells like mint. It smells like peppermint. Yeah. The final product that I picked up from the You Do You collection from Collection. That's really confusing, isn't it? Um, not confusing, just a mouthful. Uh, and this is the Multi-Use Glow Balm. So this, if this isn't reminiscent of a Glossier Halo Scope, then I don't know what it is. Um, the balm itself, it's like one of these big roll-up sticks, does not have an oil part in the middle like Halo Scope does or like Burt's Bees does. So these are the two that I generally use. I really like Halo Scope and then I went on to use Burt's Bees Olo Glow Stick and that is probably my go-to now. I'll just show you. I've just pulled out the Burt's Bees Olo Glow so you can see what I mean. So there we are. I don't know if you'll see that in the light right but there is like, see that? The little like bit in the middle. So there's like this BAM stick in the middle as well as the pigment round about the outside. Uh, and Glossier Halo Scope is very similar to this. So within this collection, there is also, as I said, a spray and a lash gel. I didn't pick either of them up because I didn't feel they were things that I would necessarily use. But the cheek tints are $4.99, the glow stick is $5.99, and the lip oils are $3.99. So they are all in quite a budget-friendly, accessible price point range. Um, the thing that kind of I was wondering about is they also almost had a slight clean beauty feel to it. I, I don't like that. I don't like that phrase. I don't like that word. Um, but they have on the back that they are vegan suitable. Um, that to me, I'm like, okay, fine. But then it also says made in China. And I know there's real discrepancies over things that have been made and produced in China. So... I don't know how that works. I think it would be something you would need to look into if it is something you are deeply concerned about and you wouldn't want to use something if you are vegan and this says it's vegan, but it's also producing to I would just check that before you actually commit to buying it. All right, so as I say, I do have a bit of a BB cream on at the moment. Um, so this is normally what I would do before I start putting on any eyeshadows, uh, blushes, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna start with the You Do You cheek and eye tint in the nude colour. It's called Bare Tune. Anyway, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see my eye. All right, so I'm just taking, oh, I don't know if you'll see. There we go. I'm just taking a small dot on my finger here. I kind of squashed it a little bit, sorry. And popping this on my eyelids. So this is meant to be a lip, not a lip, what are you talking about? A cheek and an eye tint. So it should work as some sort of a cream eyeshadow. Now I've took one dot there and I'm actually wondering if that was a bit too much. Should it be more of a wash of colour? But, oh, it's quite bright. And actually, in real life, because on the camera I think it's looking almost a bit coral, it's not quite as bright in real life as it is on the camera. 
it's a funny texture. Um, almost like a cream to powder blush texture. You can see it's almost like going to powder and smoothing out a little bit there on my eye. That's quite pretty actually. I quite like that. That's quite nice. And I did use like the whole little dot there on that one eye, so. But that seems to have worked quite well. And I'm not using any brushes here, which is quite a nice like change and relief sometimes. I think there's a lot of pressure on people to be using makeup tools all the time and you know when I started putting makeup on I used my fingers all the time. So you can see how much that one's still down now that it's dry. I continue to pad that out ever so slightly. If you wanted to buff the edges with a brush you could. I don't necessarily think it's needed. Here we are. So that is both eyes done and it is just a really nice like wash of colour. It's quite nice for springtime. As I say this is the nude one bear bear two so what do you think of that um as i say i could put the pink one on as well but i'm gonna use that on my cheeks today it gives you an idea of what they apply like and what the coverage is like as well because i know some people might not like something with very like you can obviously see veining on my eyes there that doesn't bother me um i'm into the fact that i know we've got veins that keeps us alive <laughs> so there we are Okay, so that's the shadow or lip and, uh, I keep saying lip, the cheek and eye tint on. And I think that's not too bad, actually. I quite like that. I'm going to attempt the same one, but in flush one on my cheeks. Now, I have cleaned my finger, so I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to attempt to use that one. I'm going to use these fingers instead, just in case that ends up with any kind of residue of the shadow. Now, I used one dot on my eye for each eye. I'm not going to, I'll, I'll share it between for the cheeks because I'm aware I don't want to end up looking like Coco the Clown. It applies really easily, I do have to say that. Hold on till I get a mirror just in case I think that looks alright in the camera and actually I do look like a clown. Um, oh no, in real life it actually is really, oh that's really pretty. In real life that looks like a real just flush of colour, like fresh. Oh, I really like that. I think that's really nice. I do love a cream blush. Um, I know a lot of people are a bit squeamish about them because of the blendability. That blended so easily and I think actually that looks quite nice. I like that look. I like that fresh pop of colour on your cheeks. I've got really big cheeks, so what can I say? Um, and I think it's really, if you were doing it with this one, then it's going to obviously have a more orangey, nude undertone so for different skin tones as well that's something to think about i am now going to attempt this multi-use glow balm now i've tried this on the back of my hand you see it there and when you see when i turn it to the side it looks quite dark it's quite yellow it's very golden so me putting that straight on my skin I'm not sure how flattering that is going to look. So, for that reason, I don't usually do this. I do usually just put it straight on my skin. I'm just going to rub it on my fingers and apply it because I'm just a bit weary that it's a little dark for my skin tone. So, yeah. It's almost, I don't know if you can see it properly. You can see the pink here from the flush. You can see the pink here from the flush, which goes right up. And where I've actually put that now, almost has a little bit of a deeper, slightly orange stripe. It's not orange. I'm not saying it's orange. I think in the summer, if I had a tan, that would look lovely. I also have to say is there is a bit of shine there. Not as much shine as I like, though. I prefer a really, really kind of sweaty look like you've just, <laughs> you're glistening look to my cheeks, I have to be honest. This doesn't really offer that and I think that's probably because it doesn't have the bam in the middle the way that the Glossy or the Burt's Bees does. Um, a really good kind of budget friendly one is also MUA do, um, I think they'll call it more like a primer stick and it's the oil one. Hold on, I'll grab it for you. 
yeah, so they call it like a pro base. They call it like a softening facial oil stick. And this is basically the opposite. It's also massive. So this one here is the one from Collection and you can see that solid pigment in the stick. And this one here is clear. It's solid BAM in a stick, like an oil BAM stick. So personally, for me, I prefer something like this. But the ones I love that are the two that have had a little baby and are like, this is in the middle of that one and they're both the same. But if you are on a budget or if you feel like, you know, I can't afford glossy, it's ridiculous, I don't want to send away for the, the postage, etc. And you can get your hands on the Burt's Bees one. If you purchase both of these, they're going to do the same thing. And you maybe just need to dab a little bit more of that on top if you want more of the glisten. And if you want more pigment and actual kind of golden colour, then this would be the one for you. I don't think this is bad. I think if you're looking for a certain kind of stick, then this is very nice and very affordable. But whether or not I would purchase it um, or whether I'm going to pass it on to someone, it's more likely I might pass it on because I'm not going to be picking that one up before I pick this one up. And I've obviously got my Burt's Bees that's my favourite as well. Now I'm just going to use this. I got this free because I picked up something from Superdrug and it is a Gosh Mascara. Hold on. Uh, oh my god, this is solid. So this is the Rebel Eyes from Gosh Longwear Volume Mascara with Sea Buckthorn. Ah, that's weird because I had Sea Buckthorn in some of the food I had in Estonia. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to give... Oh, it's like a really... Like one of those little rubbery spiky ones. Not that dissimilar to like Roller Lash. I think it's more of a curve than Roller Lash. Um, these aren't necessarily my favourite kind of ones, but we'll give it a bash, we'll see how we go. I do have LVL, I do have my lashes lifted already, so just in case you think, oh that's really done wonders, um, I do already have LVL. That's the thing I don't really love about these brushes is sometimes they just touch your tight line, you know, up in here, and they're really spiky. And I think they're really sore when they touch that part of your eye. So that's why I kind of, I'm a massive fan of them. I also prefer a brush that I can get right in a bristly brush and just, this is okay. Um, is it super volumizing? I don't, I wouldn't have said so. This is the first coat though. So let me just get these coats on and then I'll come back to you. Right, so one eye with the mascara on. It's okay, um, that's without. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Um, would I go out and purchase it myself? I got it for free. It's okay. It would potentially be one that I would wear to work just with one coat as opposed to applying lots. I've applied about two coats there. Um, because I think with one coat it just looks nice and natural. Certainly lift, like, it doesn't lift the lashes because mine's are lifted, but I feel like it opens your eye nicely. There we are, so that's both eyes got the mascara. I think it gives you that nice, like, doll eye look, actually. I think that's quite nice. Um, I can't, I don't know what the full price of this is, because I got it for free, and uh, what I'll do is I'll link it down below, and you can find it that way. I'll need to go and have a check of what the price of it is. But I do think it's quite nice. I think that's all right. I don't know what the wear time's like. Obviously, I've just put it on. This is purely first impressions. Um, we need to move on to the lips now before this drags on any longer than a really quick video. <laughs> Um, so I think, let's try the pink first. Uh, this one is a blush one and this one is like, it's practically clear on the stick. It's a really creamy, milky, pink colour. Uh, I, all I have on is some lip balm. I don't have anything else on so this is the natural colour of my lips. So I don't think this is going to make a heck of a change of pigment to the colour of my lips. But I know lots of people really like a kind of milky, creamy, oil, lip balm type situation. Especially to put over other lipsticks. It doesn't feel sticky. It definitely feels more like an oil. If you've ever tried the oils from e.l.f., the lip oils, similar to that. Uh, I don't know what it would be like regarding bleeding if you did have a lipstick underneath it it might be have the potential to do that i find oils as opposed to lip glosses do that it's not sticky it does feel minty but not tingly it's not burning 
it just has that minty feel to it because it is a minty scent or kind of doesn't have a minty flavour. It's just a minty scent. Um, I quite like that. That's quite nice. It's quite natural. I really like that for springtime. I think that with that wash colour on the eye, maybe with the pink as well actually, that would look really, really nice. Um, I don't mind that. I think that's quite nice. I think I will prefer the red one because I prefer a little bit of berry bitten something going on your lips. I don't have massively full lips. Uh, my lips are relatively even if I smile like that. But this lip does hide a bit more often because when you're talking and stuff, that's what happens. So I prefer to have something that I feel accentuates that top lip a little bit more and sometimes with a little bit of colour, that happens. I think the thing is with lip oils, like even after I took that off, it feels kind of like there's still something, like there's a nourishing element to them. So I kind of like a lip oil for that. And this one is called Smooch and it is much brighter. Even on the stick, it's much brighter. So there's definitely more pigment to this one. I like that it's got just a little bit more pigment and colour to it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Um, I think that's really pretty. I really like that. Um, this would be something I would very much, you know, do like a naked eye, nothing on the eyelids, um, maybe a winged liner, and well, with a Breton top, clearly. Um, yeah, I really like that one. It has the minty flavour as well. It's exactly the same texture and flavour as the other one. Yeah, I really like the red one. I think... The red one is really pretty. So that was my little rundown of the You Do You collection from Collection um, and I picked mine up in Superdrug. At the time as well when I picked mine up, I don't know if they're still running the offer and whether or not you're allowed to get out of the house to go and actually shop. You could do it online like me. They were doing an offer if you spent £2 I believe on Collection then or something like that for every couple of pounds you spent you got a free Velvet Kiss lip like lip, liquid lip as well. So because I bought one, two, three, four, five items, I got four of the Velvet Kiss and they're all the same colour. So it's more than likely I will end up doing a few goodie bags um, and separate because they're brand new, like put one in each goodie bag and build them up and have a few goodie bags for you. Um, maybe once I reach 500 subscribers, that would be nice. I think I'm about 200 just now. It'd be lovely if I could reach 500. Otherwise, I just want to say kind of best wishes and I don't want to say God bless. I'm not an overly religious person, if I'm honest with you, but I do just want to say bless your families, like bless you. I hope you are all safe. I hope that this, you know, people realise we need to group together and we need to stick, like as a human race, we need to stick together and get through this. So with that in mind as well, like I hope you sort of do well. If anybody feels they just don't know who to reach out to, please send me a message over on Instagram. I will link all of my social media things down below. I've got Instagram, I've got Twitter, etc. Um, Instagram is usually the first port of call you'll be able to get me because I do not use Facebook. And please, if anybody just feels overwhelmed, please send me a message. I'll be happy to talk to you because I know I found it really overwhelming. Um, but let's not get down in the dumps. And I hope to see you all again soon for another more lighthearted, less pandemic video. Bye.